So the idea behind smoking bees out is quite a simple one. Basically, uh, it's where someone creates a fire, uh, or smoky fire, uh, which then the smoke is used to discourage or push the bees away from where they're thinking about setting up a colony within a building. So it can be used on swarm removal, but often it's just used when bees are in a void space in the building. So smoking bees out is an option that some people use. We personally don't do that because of the risks involved are way too great. Uh, we, we know the beekeepers and homeowners and other individuals have smoked, tried and made an attempt to smoke bees out. It can sometimes be effective. Often that only ever works if the bees have been in a property for sort of within the 24 hour sort of period before they start to attempt to make honeycomb. So the minute they start making honeycomb, smoking bees out is really quite ineffective because the smoke A doesn't get around the colony properly, but also the bees have made their, they've started to make their home. So even if they move out of the area where you smoke them from, often what happens is they just move back in when the smoke stops. Obviously where you smoke bees out, can be risky. Uh, there's obviously you're using fire to create smoke. So what you don't wanna do is have a fire going in your chimney because that may catch a light in the chimney. So just be really careful if you're going down that road. Uh, to give you a story, there was a beekeeper that actually, it's actually online. Uh, there was a story where a beekeeper had actually tried to smoke bees out of a chimney and he actually accidentally set light to the thatched roof underneath. So there's a massive risk involved with smoking bees. So I wouldn't recommend that you go down that road, um, but uh, that's another option. 